Do you want to sleep like a baby? Are you sleep disturbed? Hi, my name is Nikhil. I'm an advanced neuro rehab specialist. I'm here with you to discuss how to improve the quality of sleep, especially people with Parkinson's disease. Please watch till the end of the video where I'm going to give you a quick tip how to improve your partner's quality of sleep. You must have noticed if you have taken a nap during the daytime, let it be even for a couple of minutes. That day, the night's sleep can get a little disturbed. Yeah, so that is the first tip that I want to give you. If you're suffering with some kind of sleep disturbances at night, stay yourself awake during the day. This is the first step of getting a good quality of sleep at night. Engage yourself in some activities, especially after the lunch. Make sure that you don't you know, lie down and take rest where you can fall asleep. Find out something which you like the most and do that and avoid any kind of daytime naps. Avoid lying down on the bed, be more active, sit more, walk more. That will help you to get a better quality of sleep at night. The second thing is to keep your room as comfortable as possible. Let it be the light, let it be the temperature. It all matters, especially people with Parkinson's disease. They may have some difficulty in their temperature regulations. Some of them they feel they, they are excessively sweating. Some of them they will feel that it's getting too cold. So keeping the room temperature appropriately is also an important step to improve the quality of sleep. Then the light. Any bright lights, especially which is blue in color, can affect the quality of sleep because the natural melatonin levels in the brain can reduce with the blue lights. So don't get exposed to blue lights, don't get exposed to the screen, mobile screen or any kind of digital screens which emit the blue rays which can affect the natural melatonin production in the brain which is very helpful to get a good quality sleep. Then winding down before the sleep which is an important step. People with Parkinson's disease, they may have some rigidity, they may have a lot of anxiety, other kind of depressions, which is part and parcel of the disease. So have doing some, uh, you know, relaxation exercises, like some deep breathing exercises or some kind of meditations also will help you to fall asleep faster and stay in a deep sleep for a longer time and wake up as fresh during the daytime. So follow these simple tips and Remember, if you get a good quality of sleep, that will help you to be awake more energetic next day, will help you to be more productive the next day. So you need to sleep well. So follow these techniques. Now the question is, how can you improve the quality of sleep of your partner? As a disease progress, there is a high chance that people can get a very violent REM sleep or very violent nightmares including the physical movements. So this can hurt themselves and the person who is lying next to you. This may be your partner, whoever. So once a disease is progressed, it is very common that the sleep can become very aggressive, especially the nightmares can become very physical, like the movements of the hand and the legs. Sometimes it can hurt the patient himself or the caregiver or the, the person who is li lying next to you. So once a disease is progressed and the, it is quite well established, it may be a good idea to keep some space between the patient and whoever is sleeping next to them so that your hand movements, leg movements are not hurting the other person and your hand and leg is not getting injured even if you move a little, even if there is, a, there is some kind of vigorous movement happen to the body. So this is applicable only in the later stages of the disease. So follow these steps. Remember the steps which I told you. Avoid the sleep during the daytime. Maintain a good environment. Let it be the temperature. Let it be the light. And calm down yourself before you sleep. Follow these three simple tips to sleep better at night. And wake up in the morning with more energy. Thank you. Mm -hmm.